Hey, so this is Riddle, and this is, believe it or not, a purse. Uh, what I did was I found some cool images from some magazines that were on the street around town, and you can take whatever um, image you like, and you cut it out with a razor blade, and you can make a stencil with it. And I did a combination of using stencils, spray paint, and then latex paint to kind of fill in the highlight. Um, this purse is just an old purse from the thrift store. It cost me like five bucks. This site hasn't been done yet, but um, when it is, I'll show it to you. But it was just this funky old black vinyl purse. So instead of buying some stupid Louis Vuitton or something for a couple thousand dollars, um, doing a favor to the environment and using something that was already manufactured, um, I added a bunch of safety pins to the sides, like that 90s thing that we used to do. And there's actually a, a key, like a keyboard, electronic circuit board from um, a remote control that someone was throwing away in here that I added as a design tail, detail. You can see this is the original stencil that is sprayed on, and then I go in with the latex paint and do all this. And this is just going to be a cool gift. For um, one of my friends, she's gorgeous, her name's Isabel, and she lives in Paris. Uh, she represents my art. Um, my idea about this is I'm kind of, re I'm really interested in where robotics are going. And so this robot in my story has been created, this android, simply for pleasure. Uh, it's the safest way not to get an STD and no emotional attachments. You could hire one of these or buy one of these, and she'd basically just satisfy all your needs and you could be completely selfish and I could see humans especially men taking on to this really quickly um, she is c completely programmed you know for pleasure and she's completely love struck and you can see she's peering over here at this image of a man and then if you look into her actual mind you can see what she's actually thinking so that's kinda crazy but uh, that's I like to give shape to uh, the shapeless and to actually try to create some things that aren't here yet. I just find that a lot more challenging and a lot more interesting than uh, figurative, just plain figurative art. And uh, the hearts and flowers, the open mouth, all of this is more about uh, catching emotion, you know, and raw feelings. If, y if I wasn't translating this for you in English, you know, we all feel the same things from certain colors, certain images. And uh, I learned that when I was exhibiting in Tokyo, Japan back in the 90s. So um, go to the thrift store and buy some old stuff and make it fantastic. Make it yours. Screw wearing other people's labels. Amber Crabby Fitch, all that crap. Be your own label. Okay, bye.